Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another product to test. It's the A2Z CCS Combo 2 uh, NACS adapter. So it's the one I have right here in my hands. So this is to be able to charge your Tesla on any charger, level three charger, or sorry, not a level three, DC fast charging uh, chargers um, with the CCS um, combo. So from CCS to the Tesla uh, charger, which is the NACS. Uh, so this one is from A2Z. Um, I've tested another one before, which is from Electron, but this one is the A2Z. I had the opportunity to uh, meet with the owner uh, one more time. I've already tried his other products as well, uh, but this time I received this one to uh, test it out. Um, so today we'll be testing this product. I'll just show you guys what you get uh, when, when you get the, the product, what comes with it. And then afterwards we'll go out and test the charging capabilities of this. So I'll most probably have my Tesla as low charge as possible so I can do a full charge uh, up to 80% to also see uh, what are the uh, charging capabilities with the, with the speeds. All right, so let's uh, open the box and I'll show you what comes with the product. Before I show you guys the product, I just want to let you know that the link to the product is in the description below. Uh, it is an affiliate, affiliate link and you do get a discount uh, if you use this link. Uh, so please use it. It does help the channel as well and you also get a discount for it. So it'll be in the description below, uh, the product link to the, for the uh, A to Z adapter. All right, let's get to the uh, unboxing. <music> So this is the adapter guys, it uh, comes with a, with a case, pretty neat, so E to Z EV printed on it, um, it's a simple case, um, since it's heavy, it's good to keep it in the case, it's a little padder on the top, and you also have some padding here, and this is pretty much it guys, so it comes, it's also branded here, underneath A to Z EV. I believe this is the QR code if you have any issues or even if you want to watch tutorial on how to use it. It's a one-stop shop. You just scan this QR code and uh, you'll be able to access the uh, content from E2Z. And it comes with also the locking pin here. So this is pretty much if you want to um, make sure no one unplugs you while you're charging, this locks the uh, the gun from uh, being um, unplugged from your, from your adapter. Um, so yeah. A solid construction feels like not plastic but metal some parts is plastic some parts is metal so the CCS uh, combo to NACS from the Tesla charger all right so as simple as that guys um, let's go outside and try to find a, a decent charger so we can go and test this all right so we're heading out I made sure that the battery is a little lower um, so I didn't charge the car, so it's currently at 22%. Um, so you will, we will choose somewhere further away um, from where I live, and, but close to a supercharger. So I just still want to see if the battery preconditioning will also help with the speed, uh, charging on a non-supercharger uh, network with the CCS uh, cobble. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to choose the one and I believe Laval is good enough here. It's around 10 kilometers. Uh, so I'm going to choose that. Hopefully the battery preconditioning goes in. Um, and then after we'll go to the actual charger afterwards, which is not too far from there. Um, so yeah, so let's try this. So supercharger. Okay. 22 minutes. Um, oh, okay. Actually it's, uh, 22 kilometers okay that's good and you see the battery precondition for fast charging has started okay so let's uh, drive there uh, but the actual charger is uh, before that so hopefully we'll have enough um, will be uh, preconditioned enough for the uh, for the charge all right let's go so I finally reached the uh, the uh, charger which is behind me here so these are 180 kilowatt charger from so actually yeah so i saw uh circle k started installing chargers and this is the 180 kilo kilowatt uh so the car still thinks i'm going to the supercharger and precondition the uh, battery the message is not there so the battery is at a good level um and a good uh, temperature and i use my waist here to actually go to the uh, actual charger that i was going to charge 
Um, so yeah, so that was, um, so I'm here now, so I'm just going to end the trip here and I'm going to char start charging. So let's go outside and uh, test the, uh, the adapter. So I got the adapter right here with me. Let me just turn on the light here. So yeah. So yeah, so, so like I mentioned before, CCS in here, and then the other side is the NACS, and then uh, plug it into the car. Let's see if it works, and if it does work, well, I'm pretty sure it'll work. Let's see uh, what kind of speeds we get and uh, how fast it charges. So we're currently at 16%, and with the battery that's preconditioned. So let me show you first how to actually uh, put the adapter on. Uh, so it's pretty easy, you just take the uh, CCS combo um, plug it here, or gun, I believe, um, and you just plug it in. So guys, it's just a, just an adapter, right? So you just plug it in here, and then you need to hear that click here. So that clicked, and then this one is the lock that would actually prevent this from like uh, being uh, unplugged from your car if you're away. If not, this is it, guys. It's a plug and play. So now I'm just gonna turn on the uh, the charger and I'll initiate the uh, the charge. By the way, sorry for the noise guys. We're pretty much in front of the highway here. Uh, so how this one works is pretty much you have to plug it in first and afterwards you have to initiate the charge. So this is where I put the charger here to show you guys how to connect it. So let me just take it. That's pretty heavy. It's really heavy. So hopefully I'll be able to do this with one hand. It's really not flexible. So let me try to do this, but oh god, it's so complicated. Hold on guys, I'll be back. So that was a struggle. Really sorry for, about that guys. Uh, you really need two hands for this. These chargers are so heavy and it's really not flexible. I still remember when I was plugging these in for my uh, Ionic 5 and DBZ4X. And they're still as heavy <laughs> as ever. Uh, so at least uh, Tesla recognizes it, it's blue now. Uh, so let me just initiate the, uh, the charge and uh, let's see what the speeds we're getting. Okay, so it's blinking, so the communication is being done. And uh, by the way, it's in French, guys. We're in Quebec, so most of the stuff are in French. Uh, so let's see if this works. Okay, so it started. Blinking green, that's a good sign. And this is where the lock is, guys. Let me try to shine some light here. Yep, so it's charging. And let's go check the speeds. Yep, we're at 147 kilowatt here. That's some decent speeds here. For 180 kilowatt, that's pretty good. Let's see if it's gonna increase um, or how long we're gonna have this for. Uh, I'll go inside and check the speed so that we're having. All right, back inside while we charge. Oh, it dropped a little bit, but it's around 140 kilowatt. So uh, yeah, well, definitely this charger works. I mean, this adapter works, and the speeds are pretty decent. And uh, the battery was preconditioned, um, and we came at. Did I say 16% or 17%? Um, so that's not bad. 20 minutes remaining. So hopefully that's for... Let me just double check for the charging here. Oh, okay. Because I'm at 80%. Yeah. So I'm at 80% here because DC fast charging. Um, usually I put this at, uh, at 100%. Uh, so in 20 minutes, okay, that's, uh, that's incredible. For those who don't know, uh, who don't follow my channel, I used to have a BZ4X, so that was pretty slow. It would take an hour or more, and especially if the battery was, it's not pre well, there's no preconditioning on the BZ4X, so yeah. Uh, then I switched to my Ionic 5, and finally with the Tesla. So these are good charging speeds. So far, so good. So at 126 kilowatt here. So we're dropping, 
but at least uh, we're over <laughs> 100 kilowatt, which is uh, pretty good. All right, I'll be back when we're closer to uh, to finishing. So it's been almost 25 minutes now, or 26 minutes, and we're almost done. So we're at 79%, almost 80%. Uh, so we should be done very soon. So tw roughly 25 minutes, guys, from 16% to 80% on a 180 kilowatt charger. And you can see the uh, speed drastically uh, reduced, which is normal on a charging curve. Uh, it charges it starts pretty high and then just uh, slowly decreases uh, when it's uh, getting close to the, uh, the limit. Um, so yeah, oh, I'll start. Charging is complete. Uh, let me go outside and see uh, on the actual charger what it says. Okay, well here it says 79% and it was done in 26 minutes and 37 seconds. All right. That was pretty good using the A2Z CCS uh, adapter. Works really well, guys. So I just checked the application uh, for the uh, charger and I got more information on how much it was. Um, so it was 39 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. Um, and we ended up using, I believe, 39 kilowatt yeah, from the last charge. Uh, it came out to around $17, Canadian dollars. Um, so chargers here in Canada, especially in Quebec, are going through some transformation here, some changes. Uh, they used to be charged per minute, um, per hour, usually. The rate is per hour, charged per minute or per second usually. Um, but slowly you see some uh, changes and uh, some charges charging with the uh, the amount you're using, right? Uh, with the kilowatt hour. And I believe Tesla is also going that way or have actually gone that way in Canada. The changes have been done. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be uh, changes on other uh, networks as well, charging per kilowatt, which is, sorry, per kilowatt hour, which is, uh, which is fair, obviously because you're you're paying for what you're using just like gas um but it also means that there's less incentive for slow cars to actually you know charge at you know lower chargers uh so i think there's going to be tiered pricing for uh for most of these uh chargers I, at least i'm hoping for well let's say you have a slow charging car which is taking up a spot um of 180 kilowatt when there's maybe a 50 kilowatt beside it. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of you know education that's also needed for uh, for uh, EV drivers out there, uh, and there's a big boom of EVs right now. So uh, there's a lot of things going on here. So uh, I'm just hopeful, like you know, the chargers um, will get better, and Quebec they are pretty good. Once you leave Quebec, it's not the same story. Um, you barely see chargers. Ontario's getting there, but you know, I've tried their IV network, it was pretty bad. I'm just hopeful, you know, they'll like, get better over time. But also uh, on the actual drivers themselves too. There's a lot of education that's needed. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but at least uh, I'm trying to educate myself as well at the same time. All right, guys, done for the day. Uh, we're done charging. I'm at 80%. Um, this is actually the first time I've done a, a full charge on a DC fast charging. Yeah, I still haven't brought this on a long trip yet, so um, yet to come. All right, see you guys next time. That's it, folks. Hope you liked the video. Um, so I was very really pleased with the with the test with the A2Z adapter. If you do want to buy the product, you have the link in the description below. Um, you do get a small discount if you use this link. Um, and if you have any comments on the videos, any other videos I should be doing, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.